In this video, we'll look at the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for Zn, that's zinc. Zinc has five stable isotopes, they're right here. And the only thing that's different about these isotopes, that's the number of neutrons. Because of that, the mass number is different too, as well. We'll talk about the neutrons a little bit later. Let's first look at the atomic number here for zinc. This number right here on the periodic table, that's the atomic number. So all atoms of zinc will have 30 as their atomic number. doesn't matter if they're different isotopes. If it's zinc, it'll have an atomic number of 30. And the atomic number, that equals the number of protons. So each one of these isotopes, 30 protons. When we look at elements on the periodic table, they're all neutral. That means they don't have a negative or a positive sign after them. They're neutral because their number of protons equal the number of electrons. The positive and negative charges, they balance out give us zero. They're neutral. So for zinc, each of these isotopes, 30 electrons, same as the number of protons. Often when you're given a table like this, you'll be given the number of neutrons or the mass number, and that makes it easy to figure out the other one of those items there. But if you're given a specific isotope like zinc 64, that 64 in the name, that's the mass number. So we have 64, 66, and so on. If we want to figure out the number of neutrons and we have the mass number, we know the mass number equals protons plus neutrons. So 30 plus some number gives us the mass number, 30 plus 34. Here, the mass number is 66. 30 plus something gives us 66. Or you could say that 66 minus 30, that would give us 36. Either way. So you can figure out the neutrons if you're given the mass number. If you're given the neutrons, you just add protons and neutrons to get the mass number. I'll finish these here. When we look at the isotopes here, they have different abundances. That means if I had a sample of zinc, about 49% of that would be zinc 64. The other ones, they're present, but not quite as much. So if we took the average mass here, based on how much there is, based on the abundance, so a weighted average, we'd find that the average atomic mass for zinc is 65.38. So it's kind of between these two right here. Often, if you're not given a mass number or neutrons, you can round this to the nearest number. This is Dr. B with the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for Zn, zinc. Thanks for watching.